everyone, this is Miss Amy here to do another fun art project together. Today we're going to create this colorful pop art elephant. So let's go over the supplies you need to create this ele fun elephant. A piece of watercolor paper uh, would be great. Also a pencil and eraser. A black oil pastel. Your watercolor paints paintbrush, cup of water, and a paper towel. And that is all we need today to create this fun elephant. So let's go ahead and get started. We want to put our paper in portrait direction. Um, that way he fits really well on our paper. As you can see, we're doing an elephant up close. So he's so big, he doesn't even fit on our paper, which is really fun to do art. That's big like that. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to stop, start near the top of our paper, um, near the middle, somewhere there near the middle, doesn't have to be exact. And we're just going to make a curve line, curve it to the left side, just a nice curve. And as we get down about uh, a third of our paper, uh, so just about there, we're going to start curving it the other direction, just ever so slightly. And then we're going to stop when we get to that bottom third of our paper. So right like that. So then at the end of that line, we're going to make like a little rainbow curve, just like that, kind of diagonal, kind of point going towards the corner of our paper down there. And then we're going to make uh, where that ends, we're going to make that curved line kind of following that same shape right up like that and stop. And then we're going to go up near here where we change directions on our line and go over a little bit. And we're going to draw a, a line that goes down. And it doesn't have to be straight because this is the trunk of the elephant and it can be a little curvier. It can be. Uh, more straight just shows the elephant's um, trunk. They move around a lot, so it doesn't have to be exact. So let's go ahead and make the tusk right here. So we're going to just make, and yours can be longer or shorter. Now, when I did this one, it actually didn't, it went off my paper. But um, if it's on your paper and you made yours a little bit longer and goes off your paper, that's okay. Mine's going to be a like this today. I wanted to have it on my paper so we could see the whole tusk today. And then we're going to create our ear. Now, because we have the trunk over here a little bit, we're going to start our ear over here. Now, if yours are connected more like this one, like his trunk is closer to the tusk, I started his ear right on, on the edge here. But because there's a little bit of space here, I'm going to start his ear here. So I'm just going to go down, a line down to where his tusk is. And then I'm going to kind of pretend to draw over his tusk. And now I'm going to make a curvy line up to the edge of my paper. And so that this is his whole ear that fills that paper there. All right. And then up near here, we're going to add his eye right in that area uh, where our lines started there. And we're going to make just like a little rainbow shape and then continue his eye. And then we're going to make a little parallel line to create an eyelid. And you can go ahead and add some eyelashes. Elephants have nice long eyelashes. And then I add a little circle inside the eye for that light hitting the eye. And then we're going to add some wrinkles. So his, his trunk will have some wrinkles. So what I do is I start at one side, just make a little curved line, and then I'm gonna cut, start at the other side and come across and just go back and forth. They do not have to be exact. We don't want them all to be exactly. And you can even make shorter ones like that if you want. We don't want all the wrinkles to look the same. This kind of a natural wrinkle look. There we go. I may add a couple more, another one down here. All right. And then here, I'll add a little another one right there. Um, we can add a little line under his eye for a little wrinkle. We can add some little lines on his tusk. 
And then above his eye, um, there's usually like a little bone. So we're just going to add a little line like this. Um, and then in his ear, we're going to create some little wrinkle lines in his ear. And I just start at his head and just make a nice soft curve line. And that creates some wrinkles in his ear. And he's looking really cute. All right, we can put our pencils aside. And we're going to take our white or our black oil pastel. And we're going to trace all of our, make sure it's clean first. <laughs> so if it's dirty, just wipe it off on the paper towel. We're going to trace all of our pencil lines with a nice, with some firm pressure. So we get a nice dark line. With pop art, pop art usually has a nice bold black outline. And what's cool is pop art is can be bright colors. We don't have to paint this elephant realistically. Grays or browns or uh, we can paint him all different colors. And that's what pop art it is taking just a common object or food item or person portrait or whatever we're drawing. And it can look real, but it's colored with bright colors that are not real and it has a thick um, black outline and that's what we're creating right now. So you can go ahead and finish that. Now around the eye you can try to use the edge of your oil pastel because if you have a really thick one like me it can be a little bit harder um, small areas so I'm using like the very edge of my oil pastel and that way I can get those lines traced a little easier and I'm still using a nice firm pressure so I get a nice dark line and I'm trying to hide all my pencil lines so I want any pencil lines showing all right now we're gonna get start adding some color to our elephant so to add some color, we're going to use um, open our watercolors. And I like to do wet on wet because I just like how that looks. If you choose not to do wet on wet, you don't have to. But I just like how watercolor um, acts on the wet on wet. So what I'm going to do is go ahead. I'm going to um, what I like to do is choose warm or cool colors. For example, on this elephant, I chose all cool colors, greens, blues, and um, purples. And so, and this was actually a red violet, so a red purple color. Um, but you can choose oranges, yellows, reds. And then if you wanna use both, I would do his ear like in cool colors and then his head in warm colors. So that kind of contrasts a little bit, or you can do all warm colors, whatever you choose, whatever bright colors you wanna use on your elephant. So I've never done one in all warm colors. So I think the today's elephant, I'm gonna create with all warm colors. Warm colors are the colors that remind me of the sun and of summertime. So my yellow, orange, and red. And what I'm doing is just dropping some water in each of those colors so that they start working for me. I'm gonna get my brush really wet and I'm not gonna wipe it off. I'm gonna have a dripping brush and just spread a little bit of water in a section of my elephant. Paint right over your lines. Um, that's okay because you'll see what happens. All right, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start with a nice um, bright, the nice red. So go ahead and swirl my brush and my paint really gently. And then I'm gonna put the paint in the water. And if you have enough water on there, the paint will kind of start spreading. I know my light's kind of shiny on that, but it may be hard to see. And then I'm just gonna kind of help it spread around. Get more paint. And so I'm just gonna push, push my paint around a little bit and help it spread into that water that I put on there. And yes, it will get a, your paper might curl a little bit because we didn't tape it down, but that's okay. It will dry and be more flat when it's dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more water to my elephant's ear here. And you wanna overlap the previous color so it kind of 
brings that color down a little bit too. And I'm going to use some oranges on here. So I'm going to add some orange in my elephant, overlapping into my red a little bit. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Nice and bright. Good for that pop art. Add some more water. So you want to just keep doing this until your elephant is full of bright colors. And if you see what happens, I painted right over the oil pastel and the oil pastel still shows through because the oil and the oil pastel resist the water and the watercolor. And so it shows through my watercolor. I think I'm gonna add some more red on my trunk. I like that. A little more red. I'm gonna add some red in here in this part. And then just add some more red over here in my orange. Ooh, I like the warm colored elephant. He looks pretty cool. All right, now I'm gonna move on to the body. Now I'm gonna start at the top of the head and work my way down. And now on the, because I want it separate from the ear, I just put water right up to my line. I don't cross over that line. But on the lines, on the wrinkle lines I do. And then the eye is gonna be different. So I'm gonna paint put water right up to the eye, but not go over those lines. Now I'm going to start with some, uh, I think I'll start with some orange. Add some orange in my elephant. Lots of paint on my brush. Now if your paint isn't, um, Spreading around, it probably is not enough water. So you want to be a little generous with your water, meaning using lots of water. And you can see I'm making a little bit of mess on my desk. That's okay. It's just water and you can wipe it up when you're done. Careful around the eye because I want to do the eye a different color. So I'm going to add some more water on my trunk and do some more orange there and a little bit of yellow i'm going to actually add a little bit of yellow here oh yeah that's nice and bright so as you can see, it's running over here. I'm going to go ahead and just take my paper towel and soak that up a little bit because I don't want it to run into that. That's okay to do that with my papers curling. All right, so I'm going to add some more yellow on this side. Add some water. Much more yellow. And I'll probably add just a tiny bit of red down here. So I just want a touch of red. I use a lot of red in the ear, so I didn't want to use quite as much here, but I think I'll use a little bit on the trunk there. Blending in with that yellow and creating my own version of orange there. All right, and then I'm gonna do his tusk. So I think I'm gonna use nice red for his tusk. Add that into the water there. Now with the eye, I'm going to do a little bit of yellow. I'm not doing wet on wet on this one. I'm just gonna paint yellow eyelid to match the around there. And we are close to being done with our elephant. I'm going to do a red eye because it's orange and yellow around the eye. So I want that eye to kind of stand out a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to put a little more red on my tusk here. So what you want to do now is just kind of blot the heavier. Take your paper towel, bunch it up. And you're going to blot some of the heavier 
or the where the water has little puddles and just gently blot it. And that's going to leave some really cool texture on your paper. And it's going to help it not run all over the place when you're doing the background. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe that up real quick with my paper towel. Now what I'm going to do is carefully paint. Um, I'm just going to paint normal now. I'm not using uh, wet and wet, but I'm going to put some paint into my black color of my watercolor. This time I am going to wipe my brush off a little bit when I get it wet because I don't want quite as much water on my brush, but lots of paint. And then I'm just going to paint black um, in there normally. Just normal, just a wet brush on dry paper. So um, if your paint is still not spreading very good and you're having to scrub your brush a little bit, just get a little more water on your brush. That'll help it go on there nice and smooth. Now your results may be a little different than mine because you might be using a different type of watercolor than me. Um, these ones were just nice and bright for pop art. That's why I'm using this particular type of watercolor here. But you could use whatever you have. They all vary just a little bit. Okay, so then I'm going to have that nice black. Now, if you wanted to do a cool color background, you could have picked purple or blue or green. I like black because I just like my elephant to pop out, and I just didn't want to do that in my background, but that would be your choice. You could do that easily. There we go. We have a beautiful pop art elephant and he'll be dry in just a little bit and then you'll have a beautiful pop art, colorful pop art elephant. So thank you so much for joining me for this fun project. I would love to see a picture of it. So feel free to send me a photo when you're finished with your pop art elephant. Thank you. Have a great day.